The grove sported some rather interesting murals, I must say. They just reminded me of something half forgotten. It seemed to depict Lady Shah's warriors in combat. I hadn't known they were active in these parts. You know me. I'm not usually one to elaborate if I can avoid it. They looked like Dark Justicias, an elite force among Lady Shah's ranks. Only the very finest proved themselves worthy of the title. What right-minded servant of Lady Shah wouldn't? But it's a distant dream. The Dark Justicias have been silent for years. Curious to see them depicted in such a place. Perhaps there's more to it. But there's nothing to be done about it just now. Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate, no matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. How cynical. I should borrow that line sometime. But if I have to die, so be it. Like I said, faith. I told you already. I surrendered my memories for the sake of the mission. Shah's secrets must be protected. Duty demands it. Once I fulfill my mission, I can have my memories restored. The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me. Testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. You're straight to the point, at least. But still, I'm not sure you're ready for Shah's teachings. Not yet, at least.
Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress of the Night and Lady of Loss. I assume you've heard of her? My Lady Shah is the Night Singer, the patron of darkness and loss. Most fear the dark, like children, because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. There's comfort, yes. But often there has to be pain beforehand. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. Well, if that troubles you, perhaps you should fetch the bailiff to arrest me. Ah, but there's no bailiff here, is there? Just leagues of wilderness and the dangers lurking within. We're in this together, but I'll happily go it alone. My faith will keep me company.